Oh my word, what's happened here? It's just a video. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is an update on the whole screen issue with the MacBook Air M1, where it could easily crack during usage and, you know, leading to other horrifying things, such as uh, the bill right at the end of it. But I can safely say, after owning mine for more than a year, it's absolutely fine. I shut it down, put the lid down carefully from the top, and I reopen it one hand. And it's been absolutely fine. Now, looking at the problems on Reddit as well, it's quite clear that some people are either just slamming it down, doing it roughly from the corners, or they've got kids or pets in the house. They're a bit sort of dodgy when you read the, read the original poster's description and they say, oh, they've got kids and they've got pets and they've done this and they've done that. I personally think that they may be at fault. Now, I've used this carefully. I put it down. Admittedly, I put no weight on it. I don't take it out of the house. So obviously, maybe it's not going to crack. It will not crack spontaneously. That is for sure. My MacBook Air M1 is proof that it will not crack spontaneously. So if you are on the fence about getting this laptop because of that, don't be at all, okay? If you are thinking of traveling, I have had a couple people comment on my other videos that it's absolutely fine to travel with, um, which is which is just, it's just great to hear, really. I'm not hearing of the problem recently. There was a lot of it when it first came out. Now, either that was an earlier model, maybe, and Apple secretly released a newer build, which they haven't told anybody about, but I, I doubt that's the case. Um, the ongoing lawsuit started last year. I don't know what the result is for that. Maybe they just might offer free repairs for people who've had that problem, but it's very difficult to prove. Now, a hairline fracture just randomly within there, maybe starting from underneath the panel, that could be possibly seen as accidental. But if you've got something that looks like there was an impact, of course, manufacturers aren't really going to pay for that. And it's quite, it's quite tricky. I can understand if some people sort of lift their lids up and they see it crack suddenly. How much of it is down to the user? How much of it is down to Apple manufacturing defects? It's very difficult to say, but all I know is I've had mine long term and thankfully it is absolutely fine. I haven't had any shattering here. I do take it in different rooms now uh, out of the house, but otherwise, I mean, I don't I don't tend to put any weight on the top of it. Uh, oh, I'm tapping my lid now. I never did that before. And look, the screen's fine. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I don't put weight on it. Uh, I still don't take it out of the house. I would be hesitant at putting it into a, a bag, you know, taking it around. I did read some uh, a comment on one of my other videos where somebody says they throw it around in a backpack um, and it's still fine and let the kids use it. And um, that's really good to really good to hear. But like I said, I haven't heard anything recently on this. I think it's perfectly fine. If you're looking for it to be literally thrown about, then obviously you've got a problem. Um, what I'm going to do is, at the end of this video, if you haven't seen the original one, I'm going to just pop the original video at the end, just to obviously show you the original thing, and I'll do a little conclusion afterwards. So yeah, but if you've seen that video, please just skip to the end. Well, I just thought I'd give you a heads up in case you didn't know, and certainly I didn't know until a couple of days ago, and that's how you need to open and close your MacBook. Now firstly, I'm not joking. If you go onto Reddit, you'll find a lot of people who have cracked their screens, particularly the M1 model. Okay, so what happens is when you close the screen, depending on where you close it, okay, there should be no pressure on the actual glass, okay? So this, the MacBook's got a glass panel, okay? If I decide to put it in the corner, I'm putting pressure on that glass panel. And what people have done on Reddit is shut the MacBook from the corner. So I'm actually too scared to demonstrate, to be honest. It should be shut down from here. Okay, and then opened up from here as well. But what people are doing is they're doing it from the corner. They're slamming it down. They're opening up, whipping it up. Now, I have to admit, I do, I've done this on laptops in the past, particularly ones that are fractured at the price. And because they're plasticky and these screens are sort of cheap plastic as well, they can last a bit, be a bit longer, uh, which does not make sense at all. But that's just the way it is. Whereas this one, it's the glass panel will just crack if you do it. And I think it's, it kind of seems it's more for the laptops that are on the move, particularly students where it's thrown in a bag and they're quickly opening and they're shutting it quickly. I mean, generally human nature is if you spend a lot of money on something, you're going to take care of it. And that's what I tend to do. So I'm fine sort of doing this and then opening up. Now, admittedly, my laptop isn't actually on the move um, a lot. So it's um, it benefits me in that respect. 
but just make sure you have a good case as well. I mean, you want to keep it shut, but then, although this is aluminium, you don't really want any pressure on it as that could put some sort of force. And then even when you're opening it, okay, it's got to almost be balanced and you can open it shut, puts a bit of pressure on the hinges. You can do that, but do not do it from the corner because you're pulling it, you're bending it and it'll immediately crack it or you'll have micro cracks in certain places. And particularly for me, if I broke this, and there was no Apple Care, I wouldn't be able to afford a new one straight away. I'd have to use stick with my iPad Pro, maybe just get another cheap laptop until then. But I've got this case, which I'm gonna post on the affiliate link description. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna post in the description as an affiliate link from Amazon. And it's quite sturdy. I had a bit of a research and I have done a review on this one. So please make sure to check that one out. And there you have it. As long as you hold it from the top and you shut, you just put it in view if you hold the top and you keep opening and closing it, you should be actual fine. If you want to do pull it like that, if you want to slam it down, if you want to just punch the screen or throw something at it, or if you've got some grit or big pieces of debris and you slam it shut, then obviously, yeah, it's going to crack. Um, but apart from that, don't let that put you off this laptop. It is a wonderful piece of hardware. It is so cheap now compared to what it is before. Um, and we're still not sure on what Apple are going to do with the M2 version. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And until next time.